Now to a story Channel 2 Investigates brought you only on two last night. Two women out big money after trying to rent a home advertised on Craigslist. And since that story aired, we've received an overwhelming response from people who want to help those single moms. Investigator Bill Spencer here now with how Houstonians just like you are stepping up. Bill? Yeah, that's right. Bill and Dominique, I've received at least four very sweet emails from really, really good people out there wanting to give money and buy Christmas presents for two young, hardworking mothers, both ripped off for more than a thousand. Dollars each by a scam artist who advertised a home for rent on Craigslist, a home he doesn't even own. This guy is the lowest of the lowest, has no feelings, he has no heart. As a rescue expert in the oil patch, Martin Fuentes is used to helping people in lots of trouble. So when he saw our story last night about a fake landlord who scammed Jessica Ayala out of $1,600, he had to do something. I'd like to try to give her $200 today. So that's what I want to do. That's what my heart feels, and that's what I want to do. That day, I was just having a really bad day. I told, I told him I found out my mom had cancer. <laughs> and that I didn't have any more money if I gave him all of this. At just 23 years old, working and raising two little boys, Jessica had given all of her savings to this flim flam man who promised to rent her this two bedroom ranch home in Pasadena. The only trouble is the house doesn't belong to him. He was just using it as a front to cheat his victims. After he took my money, I told him straight up, I don't have any more money. Um, I did tell him, I, I feel like this is a scam. He was like, no, no, you deserve it. Um, um, you're a hardworking mom, and he just lied to me. I feel like he has just robbed us. You know, that's it's Christmas. We have a six month old son, it's our son's first Christmas. We have no money for that. The very same fake landlord took Lindsay Poe, also a single mom, for $1,450. And the worst part is, this guy is still out there someplace, perhaps setting up his next big ripoff. And that two-bedroom ranch home is located in Pasadena. It is on Albemarle Drive and is actually owned by a 69-year-old retiree named Roger Parks. The fake landlord is described as a 28- to 30-year-old African-American man, well-dressed with a goatee. We will continue to follow this story, and I want to thank all the angels out there who agreed to help these two mothers. God bless you. Yeah, and they owe you a debt of gratitude as Indeed, well for doing that bringing story. this to light. Yeah. I'll tell you, the most surprising thing was the, the elderly gentleman really owns that home. He was blown away when he we had told no him. He had no idea what was happening. Yeah. Bless his yeah. heart. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill.